One of the requests that I get a lot is, can you dip yarn in resin? And the answer is absolutely yes, you totally can. And I think I could easily dip some yarn in resin, turn it into a block, turn it on the lathe, and make it into something, you know, like a handle for a seam ripper or something like that. I was thinking it'd be more fun if we tried to make the yarn the project. What I did is I got some white yarn and I tested soaking it in resin and then kind of twirling it up. Very hard disc. And then I also took some and I just sort of brushed it on and let it dry. But it feels more like, I don't know, like a twine. It definitely is stiff. So that made me think I could probably make something like a bowl out of this. And I've seen yarn bowls and confetti bowls and button bowls where they do it with um, they do it with glue, they do it with Mod Podge and they never show anything in them. <laughs> it's like they don't have any they don't have any strength. They don't have this kind of rigidity. So we're gonna make a yarn bowl that will actually be able to hold things. The first thing you, you normally see is this, this balloon. You blow up a balloon and you do that. But I think the resin and the yarn will be too heavy and the balloon will kind of sway. So, so what I have is a glass bowl and I don't think the resin is gonna to stick to glass. I'm 99% sure of that. But just, just for a little extra protection, I'm going to use this mold release. And all you do is you just spray this on and it creates a thin film all the way around and then you have to wait for it to dry and then you can go ahead and um, normally you would pour mold making material over it but it should also work really well for the resin so we'll put that to the side and let that dry and we're just going to be using West Systems resin today and I'm going to start with three pumps of each and I want to get the yarn somewhere between these two properties I want it more rigid than this but not so soaked that it, it takes on more of a resin feel and less of a yarn feel. So somewhere in the middle would be nice. And I don't know, what do you think? That seems pretty good. Seems like a pretty good pile to start with. I dip it all in here, but then I can't control the amount. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pour some over the top and then we'll just kinda and that's really important is to get it even over all the material so that is nice and soaked in I think so now let's move our bowl back here into position and now all we're gonna do is try to put the yarn on the bowl in some sort of mildly orderly fashion Oh, there we go. There we go. That's your method. You kind of just twist it, put your palm down and twist the whole thing. See, you didn't even know you were going to get yarn bowl tips like this. That's the way you do it. And I'm going to add a bit more resin to the base. I want it to be very secure, all things said and done. You just messed it all up, you goober. Took your pretty swirled bowl and you just messed it all up. That was a silly thing to do. Well, that's fine. It didn't really look like a Peter Brown project at that point anyway. And we just want to start doing circles around it. And they don't, you don't want them to be perfect. In fact, if they're perfect, it won't look right. You want them to cross each other. And this probably doesn't look like it's going to make it all the way to the base, which is fine. I think we can just add some more yarn, do another layer, and then just try to get it, get it all through the spaghetti mess here. This Alfredo looking thing that I've got. Actually, starting a new one is actually harder than I expected. Okay, here we go. Wrapping it around the bowl again. 
And this time we want to just, we want to make sure we get all the way down to the bottom to complete our bowl shape. So I'm going to do a couple loops on the bottom and then I'm just going to fill in all the gaps that I can with what's left of this knotted string here. All right. Yeah. I think that looks pretty cool. Yarn bowl. Is it going to work? I guess we'll find out. It's been a few days since I've been out here. Um, let's see what we have. So. Oh. Yeah. Look at that. That totally worked. But we're really looking pretty cool right now. And you can see some of these parts are thicker. Um, that's obviously absorbed more resin here than it did up here. So it is definitely coming along. Um, but I think, I think one more wrap will be good. So let's do that. And I'm just going to dunk this in there. I want this thing soaked in resin. This is what's going to be adding rigidity to my structure. There's so many yarn bowls out there where it looks like they took the final picture and then the thing just fell apart. But ours is going to be around for a very long time. This episode is brought to you by The Great Courses Plus. The service offers unlimited access to a huge library of over 7,000 video lectures, including topics on math, science, cooking, culture. Personally, I have been really enjoying the history lectures, like this course by Professor W. Bernard Carlson, which navigates us from the humble potter's wheel all the way through to modern social media. The Great Courses Plus is offering a free trial to Shoptime viewers. Simply go to thegreatcoursesplus.com forward slash Peter Brown or click on the link in the video description to start your free trial today. Yeah, looks like it's ready to hold. Um, what do you put in a yarn bowl? Fruit, art supplies, stolen drones, hot beverage selection, resin supplies. I guess you can put yarn in it. I guess you can sort of put in it whatever you want. Considering that it's made out of yarn, it's actually a very sturdy bowl. And I think this is one of my very few projects that doesn't use any power tools. So really, anybody can do this. I do have a confession to make though, and that is, this is not my first yarn bowl. This one is. <laughs> and I, uh, I just couldn't bring myself to have this be the final product. <laughs> so I started over. I really like the look of this one. There's some people out there that's gonna, they're gonna love this, but um, it's just not for me. It's super strong. I'm gonna just bounce it off the ground. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's the only yarn bowl that you can play ball with. I, I can't think of any other good uses for it. Thank you all for your suggestions. Yarn has been on the dip it list since the very beginning and I just finally got around to it. So know that, know that I'm listening, I hear your suggestions. My list of ideas is incredibly long so please don't stop suggesting things just because I haven't done them yet. Thank you very much for watching. I will catch you guys next time.